CData Arc is a no-code B2B integration platform for building end-to-end -end data automation workflows. In this video, I'll highlight the Snowflake connector in Arc and show you how easy it is to include Snowflake in your automated data pipelines. First, for context, Arc excels at B2B communication with external parties, like exchanging EDI documents or other files with your trading partners. However, modern B2B often includes the need to update your internal data ecosystem in synchrony with your external communication. Arc's ability to integrate your external transactions with your internal data ecosystem is what allows for truly end-to-end -end data automation. Let's turn now to Snowflake as an example piece of your internal data environment that should store data from your external B2B transactions. Working with this Snowflake connector is the first step in integrating Snowflake into your B2B workflows. There are three steps for using the Snowflake connector. First, we need to establish a connection to Snowflake. I have a connection already configured here, but let's look at the connection creation process anyway. Creating a new connection requires filling in a few simple connection parameters, like the URL for your Snowflake instance, login credentials, and so on. This info is easily accessible from your Snowflake dashboard, and once you've configured this connection, it is saved in Arc for you to use across multiple different Snowflake connectors. The second step is to choose an action. The common actions are upsert and select. Upsert is a combination of update and insert and represents pushing data into Snowflake. Select is used here like a database select and means pulling data down from Snowflake. We'll use upsert here since Snowflake is frequently a data storage destination rather than a data source. The third and final step is to choose the tables or data objects within Snowflake to upsert data into. In this example, I'll choose this leads table to indicate that my B2B transactions may generate new leads that I want reflected here in Snowflake. So now, my Snowflake connector is fully ready to go. But to understand how it interacts in a larger Arc flow, let's take a look at the XML view of our leads table. Arc uses XML as a common data format, and this view indicates that the Snowflake connector is expecting as input an XML file with this structure. When it receives an XML file that looks like this, it'll read the data from within that XML and insert it into Snowflake. Let's jump briefly here to a more built-out flow that involves Snowflake. In this example, the data for our Snowflake leads are coming from EDI files. So we have other connectors in the flow that translate the EDI into XML and then map the XML into the format that we were just looking at so that it can be inserted into Snowflake. This is a common theme in Arc flows. Translate data into XML, map the XML into the appropriate structure, and then process the XML with something like the Snowflake connector. And that's it for this video. If you'd like more resources on XML translation and mapping in Arc, then please check out our Getting Started Guide at arc.cdata.com start. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.